can't say that there's any one in particular because I have fun with all of my guests. And not only that, but I learn something from every guest. In fact, I had a guest on a show earlier today that was actually really amazing. And he left with some really good parting words because I said, well, you know, if you could just leave the the viewers with one thing today, what would it be? And he said, to be in the present. That is so true. That's very mm-hmm. true. And I, and I think yeah. and I think we're doing this in the presence now. So we're doing that. You also got other programs like the American Vision, Balancing Act of Life, Cognitive Liberty, Eradicating Program Ignorance, Global News Update, In the Crosshairs, Red Pill Hardcore, Rick on Life, Mindful Messenger, Truth Has Set You Free. And uh, you can just uh, tell us about uh, some of the programs as well on TLB TV. Okay, the American Vision is with Bill Muckler. He is also a United States Marine. He's got a book out called The American Vision, Clear Vision 2020, and he has a lot of insight about things that are going on within our nation right now. And um, I think he just, I think he just had a guest on by the name of Fred Galvin, who's a United States Marine who was Mars, he was with Marsoc and they had, they had an issue. I, I can't go into all of the details right at the moment, but there was an issue with some, with some Marines in Marsoc and they wanted to be exonerated from this. And so there was years of just really a, a lot of inner workings as far as judicially and they were finally exonerated and Fred was just on his show. I'm not sure if it has just aired yet or not, but um, this is something that the viewers in the nation our our, our citizens need to see. Mm-hmm. People need, people need to see this and be aware of what's going on because there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes in the military, in other countries. And, um, and it, it's not until something major happens or until somebody speaks out that we're aware of it. And so this is a really good sounding board, especially in this particular instance. And, and, and so, and then how does one person get involved with uh, TLB TV? What do they need to do? Contact me. Okay. Rebecca Mahan at publicist.com. And then all you have to do is just give an idea, and then you just tell them what to do, and then just go from there. That's that's what yeah. I like to do, just have my show on. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Bring, you know, we would be more than happy to, to get your message out there. It's important, I think, to have a passion and to really get it in the hands the ears, the mind of as many people as possible because the biggest challenge I think that's out there right now is we have a lot of people that don't have, and I don't mean this in a derogatory manner, but as much knowledge as they should have about different things. So, we get schooled in certain things, but not in everything. And so the more knowledge that we have, the better we can have, the better we can make a, an educated decision on a number of different things in our life. Mm-hmm. But we can't make an educated decision if we don't have the knowledge to do so. Right. And it makes perfect. So. That makes perfect sense. You, so you don't, if you don't get the correct information, like from ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox News, or CNN, then this is a good place to go to as well as uh, many others. That's what it sounds like. Absolutely, it is. And not only that, it, and it doesn't have to be just on a political aspect. It could be on anything. If the only thing that our network requires 
is that it has to be true. And we need to be able to vet that because uh-huh. we do not want to be in, I, I really don't like saying this because it's, it's really sad to say we don't want to fall in line with fake media. Correct. That, that okay. Is, that is very important. It's, yes. <laughs> it's sad to say that, that, that that's even out there. But it is, and that's the reality of it. So to set ourselves apart from it, we just ask that if a show host comes on board, you're gonna you're gonna tell the truth, and we're gonna vet that. If there's something that we find that isn't, we're gonna you know we're gonna check it out, and if not, then it's gonna get edited out of your show because we're we're not gonna broadcast something that isn't true, <laughs> and if. You, if you're just talking, let's say you just have a talk show and you're just talking because you just want to talk. That's okay, too. Right. But just let the viewers know it's an opinion. Right. It, it's just like you and I talking right here. What we're saying is true. And, of course, I'm not going to go and just edit out or anything like that. So what we're saying is true. And, yes, as we are recording, it is true. And it sounds like in the future, just like in Spaceballs, where you can be recorded like maybe 10 20 seconds or one minute ahead. It may get to technology. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. I mean, just think about, just think about those kinds of things. But like you asked me earlier, you know, how many departments are using your program? Well, I don't have the statistics. I know that the agencies that I've worked with have used the program. Okay. You know, I don't know how many, how many agencies are using the program that are, are modeled after the agencies that I've worked with. I don't, I don't know. I don't have numbers, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, but that's, you know, that's it. Mm-hmm. And, and it sounds like a very good platform. And just to clarify once again, you know, about TLB TV, and it sounds really interesting. And uh, how did you personally get involved with TLB TV? Well, what this all started as for me is I wanted my book to get in the hands of as many law enforcement agencies as possible, or even domestic violence shelters or advocates or first responders or anybody that's responding to domestic violence or other types of trauma. And so I started by going out and doing radio interviews. Uh, Those people were interviewing me in reference to my book, and I found that I loved radio. And so I thought, I really need to expand upon this message to victims. And so I started a radio show talking about domestic violence and sharing messages with victims to help them. And my radio shows did really well. I won two awards, and it just... It, I just loved radio. And for a short time, I ended up having to not do radio. And one of the times that I was doing radio, um, it's a long story between my radio times, because I was also in law enforcement at that time and this and that. And so, and then there was times where you had to pay for your airtime and just different things were going on within the industry. And I think you know how this works. I, I've been but, for over 30 years and I understand all that. And it's just like, if they asked me to pay, I says, you show me the money first. <laughs> well, I did pay for my airtime at one point, And then I tried to figure out how I could do it online without paying. And then there was just, there was just some things going on with that. And then I was with the Liberty Beacon when they were just doing radio and then there's other things were coming up. I was doing police work, you know, at the time and things like that. And so I, I went back to Liberty Beacon and I said, I really love this. I got to, I got to start doing radio again. And they said, Oh, Rebecca, I'm so sorry. We don't do radio here anymore. And I went, what? And I went, Oh man. Cause it's like, what am I going to do now? I've got to get this message out there and I'm retired now. And so I've got, this is, God is calling me. You know, I have a purpose. I've been exposed to all of this. I've been equipped with all of this. I know it's successful and I've got to get my message out there. Mm -hmm. And he says, but we're now doing TV. 
would this be of interest to you? And so here we are. That is an amazing story. And of course, you know, I couldn't imagine myself being on TV, but then you also have a way, <laughs> just like with YouTube, it's like just put on a picture of a cat or something. And it's like, you know, just just hear yourself talk. I think it's making me feel better. Thank you, YouTube, for doing it. You know, I have to say this. I've got a face for radio. I'll have to admit that. <laughs> so, and, and, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and, 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 of course, too, you're talking about, you know, which uh, God has asked you to use your gifts wisely and everything else. And, of course, you've been in um, spiritual ministry for a number of years. And, of course, you can just... Tell us a little bit about that and how you came to know the Lord and, uh, you know, some of the things um, that you've done, what God has done for you. It's like, I love hearing all that. Oh, wow. Um, I accepted Christ when I was six. And then I got in youth, I mean, you know, I got involved with the youth group. And later on in life, I, oh gosh, let's see, I did women's ministry and then I did children's ministry and a director of children's ministry and then later on I got my associate's bachelor's and master's in different ministries and so and that that's on the the spiritual side that's not my degrees on the secular side but you know, God just, he's God. Mm -hmm. And so, so he has you doing things. And if you allot your time, right, he fills those things. You have plenty of time to do things. We oftentimes think, gosh, you know, there's not enough time to do all these things. But if you allot your time, right, like you mentioned communities, digital news. And I, I wrote a few articles for, for the, for com digi news. And, um, and I did that cause I love to write. I, I just do. And that's one thing I do, um, with my shows, my TV shows, I write about my guests and I really promote them so that when somebody goes to see what, to see the show on tlbtv.com, they're also going to see a lot of information about the guests that I have appearing on that particular episode and how to contact them. But if you allot your time right, you can really accomplish a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds like so, it, it sounds like it too. And of course, being uh, you're on CDN and you can just tell us all about that. And once again, how you got involved. On what? On CDN, which is Community Digital News. Yeah, I'm not with them anymore. I contributed to them several years ago, um, to those articles. I mean, and I had, I, you know, I had just, I had met somebody through one of my radio shows and, and I, that's how I got involved with Com Digi News. So that, that was a God thing there. It's, it's been pretty interesting, but, um, Yeah. It sounds like you're having a lot of fun with it. Um, of course, we have a couple more things to uh, to touch on here. You listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off for first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Evan Fine and Sh of the Senior Reserve Group. When you start a business or own a business for a while, who do you want to call for sole proprietorship insurance? Why not call the expert, Evan Fine of Senior Reserve Group, for all your health insurance needs? Evan can be reached at 1-800-650-9357. That's 1-800-650-9357. Or Evan Fine at SeniorReserveGroup.com. Licensed in seven states in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Delaware, South Carolina, and Florida. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. Also on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen to episodes on SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also watch the interview on YouTube as well. We're here with 
Rebecca Mahan of the um, TLB TV.